Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode of The Binding of Isaac Repentance. Hope you guys are having an awesome day. I'm having a fantastic day. Let's do... What do we still need? We need Eve, Mega Satan. Isaac's basically done. Jacob and Esau, we need a lot of stuff. Bethany, let's do a Bethany run. We haven't done a Bethany run in quite a while. Let's give this a go. We'll pop into the Cursed Room. Uh, not actually that worth it. Normally, I would be ecstatic to get two black hearts in the first item room, but, uh, you know, given the whole Bethany thing where you can't actually get spirit and or black hearts, they just turn into, like, extra charges. Seraphim's great, though. That's an excellent first item. That'll get us through the early game pretty easily because it does a ton of damage by early game standards. So basically, we got a couple of extra charges for Book of Virtues, which is like, it's fine. Um, but Seraphim. Seraphim's an excellent pickup. Now we just got to get this dude who's... The statues do make it kind of hard to hit him with Seraphim. That was close. Okay, one down. Get rid of the spider first. There we go. So far, so good. Pop a Book of Virtues here. Try to keep the bombs far away from me. Thank you for finding the secret room. Grab those. And I think we want to go dark room and try to do boss rush along the way. If at all possible. It might be possible. I mean, we do have Seraphim, which will help us get through the early game, like pretty quick. Okay, I'm actually fine with just getting HP here. Since we can't get spirit hearts, we can use like all the red hearts we can possibly get. I'll check the cursed room again. See what we get. Answer is uh, nothing. We got damage for our trouble. <laughs> Which isn't great, but it's fine. Got to make sure we're using Book of Virtues whenever possible. Okay, don't get hit by that. Check the item room. Chemical Peel's okay. It's a damage upgrade. It's not like a 10 out of 10 damage upgrade since it only works half the time. But, I mean, it is ultimately, at the end of the day, a damage upgrade. So, I'm happy to have it. It's far better than a lot of things we could have potentially gotten. Pill is pretty fly. That's a great pill. Gives us a little orbital to help protect us from enemy shots. That'll work, you know, sometimes. Keep our our army of wisps up. And we're basically just looking for, like, a great spacebar item. That's the dream. Okay, don't get hit by those. All right, speed upgrade, I'm happy to have. Grab the Spirit Heart, grab this. Pascal Candle's pretty solid. And then we're going to blow up the Angel because we want to have deals with the Angel throughout the run. Since we can't get Spirit Hearts... Ha oh, that was just bad damage. Uh, taking Red Heart, or, you know, giving away our Red Hearts just doesn't seem like a good idea. And this is definitely the harder of the two angel statues, so if we can beat him early, that's pretty good. Also, you know, the more he wants to, like, run into the fires for me, the, the happier I am. Okay, there we go. Grab the key piece. We haven't fought. No, we have fought Mega Satan. Okay. Uh, on to the next floor we go. The run's Okay. I wouldn't say we've, like, you know, blown it wide open at this point, but it's getting there. We've gotten some solid items. Pill is a health down. That's really unfortunate. Oh! Don't get hit. Alright, that was just my fault entirely. 
I mean, the good news is you'll let me get this for free. Let's pop in here and see what we got. A teleport divine intervention. Double tapping a fire key creates a shield which lasts one second. And then it goes on cooldown. That's kind of cool. Pandora's box. Okay. I gotta remember, Pandora's box does a different thing depending on what floor you use it on. So I'm gonna look it up. Pandora's box, Isaac. Where do we want to use this? So let's see here. A uh, different thing on every floor. Uh, are you gonna tell me? Wiki? I guess not. All right. Platinumgod.co.uk. Pandora. All right. Caves 1. What are we on right now? We are on the Caves 1. So if we use it now, we get a boss item. If we use it on the next floor, we get a boss item plus, plus two spirit hearts, but we don't really care about that. So, unless we're going to hold on to it until the womb, then uh, I think we just use it here. Yeah, pentagram. I, I stand by my decision. That worked out well. Gave us a damage upgrade, which is something we needed. Now, we need to get our hands on some red hearts to get us back up to a reasonable amount of HP. But, like, all things considered, we're doing all right. Getting pentagram there is a pretty good pickup. Because we do need the damage. Don't get hit by that stuff. Getting a bomb is okay as well. D7. Respawns all items in the room. Or all enemies in the room. I actually don't think we want this. Because I can't put it down. <laughs> I can't put it back. I don't think we actually want that. I'm going to pop in here and just see what we find. The answer is not much. That was kind of a waste of a key. Can we get two bombs with one bomb? Like, we basically need... Yeah, I don't think we can get to those with a single bomb. If we had two, maybe, we could do it. But with a single one, not so much. Alright, let's just keep going. Okay, this is just a dead end, essentially. Red Heart's great. Okay, this is another dead end. Don't get hit by those. Make sure we're using the book. I mean, other than our HP situation, the run's pretty good. It's just our HP situation that's a little bit sketchy. I'm also fairly sure that this is our secret room. That's not the secret room? Are you serious? I don't believe it. I refuse to believe you lied to me, game. Okay, there we go. And we got our deal with the angel, but we don't, we've already been in here, and uh, we don't have a bomb to fight the statue. So, I would fight the statue if we had a bomb, but we don't have a bomb. So we're not doing it. Okay, we got mini pins. Thank you, Book of Virtues, for uh, taking out that mini pin for me. Oh boy. We're fine. Oh, we're not fine. Thank you for dropping a red heart. Hold on. Kill these guys, then go get the heart. Okay, grab the red heart. We're fine. Uh, I got five keys, so we'll we'll peek at the treasure room and just see what's in here. It is a greed fight. If you wanted to drop Steam sale for me, or just a, like a bunch of money would be fine. We're gonna get a bunch of money from this. All right, hold on. Grab the trinket first, then pick up all the pennies. Get a fair amount of money. Now we can make our shop worthwhile. Also, use this. Okay, bombs are good. 
Uh, we got mini pins in here as well. I do see a tinted rock. So we will blow this up. All right, one bomb into two bombs. That seems pretty good. Uh, yeah, I'll take treasure map. I think that's a pretty useful item. Gives you a good idea of where the boss is going to be. That'll help a lot with making sure that we can make it to boss rush. Because we know that we don't have to, we, you know, we can just skip a bunch of rooms, essentially. Because we're like, oh, this is a room we don't care about. Okay, take you out. And now you. Alright, there we go. Uh, no, I don't think I'm doing the curse room this time. Just seems a little too risky. Unless we get, like, a double red heart here or something like that. Ooh, careful. Okay, grab the key. Pop in here. What do we got? Ooh. A reroll machine. Dog tooth. I'm gonna take dog tooth. It is a damage upgrade, although not a super large one. But it also tells us when there's secret rooms and crawl spaces and all that kind of good stuff. So I think that's worth the take. And it is ultimately a damage upgrade, as I said. So I think it's a pretty good item. Okay, there we go. Damage is doing fine. HP still, you know, a little sketchy. There we go. All right, let's go fight the boss. It's mega fatty. That's rather unfortunate because he's very tanky, but... Oh, you got me. No, not again. One time only. You're going to get me with that once and only once. And now you're dead. Okay. Squeezy's fine. There's a tears upgrade. Unfortunately, it only gave me spirit hearts. I was actually hoping that it would drop a couple of red hearts, but... Because I believe with Squeezy, the types of hearts that it gives you are random. But I may be wrong on that. Maybe I'm thinking of Mr. Dolly, which is a very similar item. Squeezy might always drop spirit hearts. I don't remember. Okay, so this is essentially a dead end. Ah! Don't get hit by that. Well, that's fine. Um, we'll pop over here. And this is, again, mostly a dead end. Three rooms that aren't important and one that is. But one that we're probably going to skip yet again, because, you know, HP situation. Okay, uh, I don't think we touched the, the Mimic chest. I think that's a, a bad decision. There's so many spiders. Why are there so many spiders? Okay. Okay, there we go. Uh, I mean, we already know. Oh, we got mini pins in this room, too. Okay. Try to get rid of the hands first. Then worry about the mini pins. There we go. What do we got? Multidimensional, baby. Okay. Well, what is this? Turns Isaac into a phantom that can pass through enemies to paralyze them after a few seconds. So it basically gives me Dark Judas's ability for like one room. Okay, I see a lucky penny. I'm perfectly okay with that. We've also found our shop, which we want to check because we have money. Uh, Eternal Heart's great. We're going back. Ooh, Devil... Eh, Black Candle. We probably buy Black Candle. I think it's worth it. Uh, let's also throw a bomb down right here. Give us a tiny bit of money just so we can buy a red heart. And then also leaves me with a little bit of a chance. We're on what? Depths 1? Yeah. So let's... Go, we'll go back for the... Uh, the Eternal Heart at the end of the floor. To make sure that we get our... Our value from it. Okay. 
We found our other secret room. There we go. We know that's the other secret room, thanks to Dog's Tooth. That's a little dicey, but I'm going to do it. Three flies per room? Why not? I may regret this. And if that time comes, then, like, so be it. Okay, get rid of the brain. We've done it. Now, the downside to this whole taking the, uh... Oh, you're invisible, my dude. Not cool. Alges. Uh, yes. Absolutely give me that. And now we fight war. So we'll get a cube of meat or a ball of bandages. At the end of this fight. Which, honestly, you know, if like a 10 out of 10 item for us would be like uh, BFF. At this point. Take you. We're going to hold on to the Elges rune. Take that with us. That could potentially help us out. Uh, a lot. And then we'll grab the Eternal Heart. And we're doing great on time. We, we're going to at least have a chance to try Boss Rush. Don't know if we'll actually succeed, but we'll at least have the opportunity to give it a go. Which I'm pretty... You know, I think maybe we can do it. The run's like... It's pretty good. Uh, it's good to know that that's there. We can maybe take advantage of it if we're feeling a little desperate for HP. I'd prefer not to, but... Like, one bomb for one red heart is kind of iffy, but... Okay. Uh, sure. I'll spend a bomb to open up a golden chest. Alright. Well, at least we got our bomb back. Could be worse. Um... Pop over here. There's our shop. Don't get sucked into those things. Okay, I'm gonna look at the shop. What do we got? Birthright. Okay. Uh, activating an item using soul charges is sometimes free. That seems great. Let's do one of these. Let's do another one of those. Oh, I bought a thing I didn't mean to buy. I mean, pretty flies good though. All right, give me birthright. This is an interesting item, and I'm pretty sure our boss is going to be to the left. I don't know for sure, though. Hard to say. Either way. Don't get hit by these dudes. Oh, there's a million mini pins as well. Good to know. You sneaking up behind me. All right, well, we found our boss. But we're not fighting our boss until we do the item room. Because once we go to the boss, we're not going to have a chance to go back. So, And we know our secret room is attached to this. I have a feeling it's probably to the left. Or actually, it's probably down. Don't get hit by that either. It's probably like right down here is what I'm thinking. Nope. It's actually right there. Okay, Ultra Gree! There goes our deal. That's unfortunate. Lots of money is good. Uh, yeah, I'll take Monster's Lung. I think it's a good item. Especially with certain builds. I think Monster's Lung is... Pretty solid. We'll peek down here, just see what it is. Uh, okay, another treasure room. It's actually good. Let's see what we got. A couple of chests. And, alright! Yeah, that worked out. Ultimately gave us a tears upgrade. Which, with Monstro's Lung, is actually really important. And I just realized our deal chance is still the same. Does Bethany not... Oh, you know why? It's because we, lo we, we lost a rotten heart, not a red heart. So it didn't count for our uh, deal. Oh, yeah, that was my fault. Almost blew it. We got to go dark room, right? Yeah. So do this. 
Ooh, wow. There's some good choices here. Money equals powers damage, but I think you gotta take Psyfly. Because it's just that good. Like, Psyfly is ridiculous. Like, I will never get hit by shots ever again, thanks to Psyfly. Okay. Don't get hit by those. And our damage output, if we can weave the uh, the Monstro's Lung Shots through Multi-Dimensional Baby, like, then we're feeling pretty good. I'm also loving the fact that Red Hearts are dropping for us to help keep us alive. We should also be using uh, Book of Virtues a bit more here. Oh, I didn't see him. I was focusing on death. That's all right. Where's this enemy? Oh, there he is. Found him. Like, do you see the damage when you hit an enemy through multi-dimensional, baby? Oh, careful. One down. I think we got a shot at this as long as they keep dropping red hearts for us. Although I just realized this is a champion boss rush, which is going to make things a little bit more difficult. That's right, Psyfly, you get him. Where'd he go? Over there. You're dead. Had to be homing shots. I mean, the thing is, I got Psyfly. You can't hurt me. I don't fear you. Like, Psyfly is just a beast. Will absolutely stop all of these shots from hitting me. Okay. So far, so good. We got an angel statue and a dude who looks like... Oh. He managed to get me. I'm not going to pick up the heart, though, until we've lost a full heart. Okay. Yeah, get off of me, dude. Can pick up the spirit hearts right away. There we go. Don't get hit. I mean, we're doing all right. We just got to get rid of Carrion Queen over here. There we go. And now the flies. Lots of red hearts dropping on the ground, though. That's key. That's going to keep us, you know, around. Got to get rid of the bloat first. This is actually kind of a rough batch of enemies. Because the haunt, you want to be below, and the, the bloat, you want to be above. Okay, there we go. There we go, not bad. Oh, another angel. Yeah, I shouldn't have stood there. That's my fault. Come on. I think we're going to make the, make it through this. Honestly, we've got, uh, you know, enough hearts are laying on the ground here. That we can, you know, we can afford to make some mistakes. 
Now, we're not worried about, like, messing up a deal, because we've already gotten said deal. Or already not gotten said deal, I guess you would say. There we go. We've unlocked Bethany's Faith, and we get a space bar item. So it's going to slow down the rate at which we can use our... Um, our Book of Virtues, but it's actually going to give us a benefit other than a Wisp, which is pretty good. So now we're pretty happy. How are we doing for time? 22 minutes. Okay, so Hush is still possible, especially with the treasure map. We might still be able to do Hush here as well. Which would be pretty great. We'll peek. Eh, I don't think I'm doing three waves of enemies for a single golden chest. Especially if we're trying to get the hush and I only have one key. Doesn't seem all that great. Okay. Thank you, uh, Dog's Tooth. Because we know that blowing these up will give us a crawl space. This is an item that I think is like... Eh? It's like when you... Hit an enemy, they exp... Oh, I see a library. That's great. That's potentially amazing, actually. Library plus Book of Virtues? Yes, please. Okay, so let's pop this first of all. Get a Hierophant card. Pop in here. What do we got? Book of Secrets, which we will use, and Necronomicon. Um, honestly, I think I'd rather have the deck of cards. Those aren't great books, but it did give us bookworm, so we're pretty happy. Uh, we'll use a bomb here. Uh, we'll use a bomb here. Gets us into our cursed room for free. Perthro rune, okay. Sure. Do we want Perthro or Elges? I think we want to take Perthro with us for now, and then maybe Elges later. Is kind of what I'm thinking. And our boss is either... Yeah, there it is. I was going to say, it's in one of two spots. Check our second secret room. What do we got? Okay. Um, I think we're not going to do anything with that just because we're trying to make it the hush. So we're kind of on a tight time schedule. So I think bearing that in mind, we're going to skip doing anything with that. This is, you know, this is fine. Ooh, wafer. I think you got to take the wafer. That was uh, pretty unfortunate. Wafer's good, though. Doubles our HP, essentially. Lover's card. I think we still... Do we want Perthro or do we want Elges? I honestly think we probably want the Elges room. Like, long term. You know, if there was an item for us to reroll there... Oh, we should have used the Perthro on the Tropicami. I'm so dumb. It's fine. Take the Algis room. Yeah, we should have used it on the boss item. But I didn't think of it until I picked it up. Let's see. Boss is probably this way. Whether or not we make, we make it the Hush is going to basically in, uh, depend entirely on if this is actually the way to the boss. Because <laughs> this is a lot of backtracking if it's not. Eh, there goes our deal chance. That's fine. Yeah. This is just a little rough. Okay, there we go. Sci-fly doesn't scare me. And also, you know what? Hush doesn't scare me either. Given that we have Sci-fly, I'm not afraid of Hush. Uh, I'm just going to do this. I don't think we care about any of the rest of this stuff. We know our secret room is probably... Okay, I think I know where the secret room is. But we we only have one bomb anyway, so... Eh. Please be a boss. Okay, good. Chaos card. Okay, well that lets us kill Hush for free. So now we're guaranteed to beat Hush. And we've already fought... Uh, Mega Satan as Bethany. So we're good there. No deal. Which is to be expected. 
But now we go, I mean, you know what? We should clear a couple more rooms just to see if we can get a couple more keys. Cause there's a lot of uh, hush stuff. Ah, sure. Eh, okay. Probably shouldn't have spent the key there, but we've still got some time. Let's take advantage of it to try and scrounge up a couple more keys. Just because, you know, when you go down to Hush, there's like seven things there you can spend keys on. Great use of a bomb. Ten out of ten. Knocked it out of the way. Uh, we are going to have to go pretty fast, though. Like, we can't spend too much time here. So we'll probably say, yeah, this is going to be the last room. And then we'll have to probably start heading back the other way. All right, but we did get a key for it. Eh, let's do like one more. Okay, got a bomb. All right, so what we'll do is we'll work our way back. We're still okay for time. We know that our secret room is here. Sure. Was hoping that would give me a key. It did not. The Hierophant. And then we're actually gonna pop in here just real quick. And just try and get a couple of keys this way. Okay. 30 cents is as far as I'm willing to go. Because there may be two shop items that we would want to buy. So now we're going to... Oh, grab this first. Now we're going to pop in the Hush. We got the Wafer. We got Sci-Fly. We should be able to beat Hush here. So first things first. What do we got? Nothing we care about too much. I don't think we're interested in any of that. Let's pop into here. Okay. Cancer Trinket is good. But it gives us Spirit Heart, or the Cancer item, I should say, is like normally really good. Plus three Spirit Hearts and then halves damage that, uh, in a room when you already got hit. But we already have the Wafer. And we don't really care that much about the Soul Hearts. So I think you take Milk. There is a tinted rock in that room as well, but we have no bombs. And then between these, I think it's Juicy Sack. Occasionally, it'll spit out little flies. Hey, all right. Golden Key is pretty good here. Let's just check all the rest of these. Yeah, all right. That actually worked out pretty well. So let's blow up the tinted rock. Mostly to check for small rock more than anything else. And then I think we're just going to do one of these. Just, just max out our donation machine. Get that thing back up to a reasonable amount. And with a Chaos card and Sci-Fly, this fight should be very manageable. So we'll get rid of the first phase, and then once he goes to Big Hush, here's where we're going to use the Chaos card. There we go. Glorious. So that takes care of you, and then we got to go down. So we can do the Dark Room stuff. Okay, boss is probably to the right. Hard to know for sure, but that's my guess. Okay, greed. Ooh, curved horn. That's a great trinket. Don't mind if I do. A little extra damage is uh, honestly pretty appreciated. Our damage is, our actual like damage stat is not great, but we've got good tier effects, so kind of makes up for it. But yeah, getting curved horn here, sign me up. 
Okay, grab some bombs. Sure. There we go. We got explodey boys. They have been deceased. They're they're dead. Okay, what do we got? More keys. Sure. There we go. Couple more bombs. So far, so good. We're basically letting multi-dimensional baby here do some serious heavy lifting for us. All right. Hangman card, kind of whatever. Took a little damage, but nothing I'm super worried about. I mean, we could go to Delirium, but I think we want to go to the Dark Room first. Because there is a small chance we could still get Delirium. I don't think we care about any of these. I think we just uh, hard pass on all of them. Okay, one down. go. So I'm thinking bosses like over and around. Yeah, this is actually a little rough. Just kind of hide. Okay. Secret room here. All right. I'll, I'll bomb my way through. Skip some rooms. Don't mind if I do. Okay, that worked out. You stay away, troll bomb. Empress card is fine. It gives us some damage for the final boss. Yeah, I probably shouldn't have stood there. Oh, yo. Stop it, self. What are you doing? So I guess when the wisps from deck of cards get used, they drop um, a card in the ground, which is pretty cool. I'm going to hold on to the sun card here because it's essentially a full heal. There we go. Pop a Justice card. Strength card might actually be better. I mean, Sun basically guarantees me a victory, though, so let's do that. Fight the Lamb here. Let Psyfly do all the work. Oh, Psyfly, you let one through. <laughs> How could you? One single shot from that whole burst got through. Now if you wanted to give me a delirium portal, I would accept. And no delirium portal. Okay, well, still, that ended up being a great run. We got some good stuff. We've unlocked the alabaster box. We got some stuff from Hush. It was a good run. That's going to do it for today's episode, guys. If you enjoyed the video, you know what to do. Link's in the description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, my friends, thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next one.